This is the RAC European Boss Formula race. Boss stands for British Open Single Seaters. And this on the front row of the grid is the Jordan of Tony Warswick. But he appears to get a bad start, but from the outside of the front row of the grid, a jump start for Ron Cummings in the footwork. So he is actually further down the grid than the race would seem at this stage because he has that 10 second penalty but he leads on the road Ron Cummings in the footwork ahead of the Jordan and then it is the Pacific of Jeff Farmer the first of the Formula Europa cars behind him there is the Ram of Colin Stone and that was to be our pole sitter there just going through in our shot uh, Nigel Greensall in a Tyrrell but he had electrical problems and he had to start the race from the pit road but our leader on the road it is Ron Cummings in the footworks as I say the Formula One car is back here at Mondello Park and a welcome return for them as they go into Druids it is Ron Cummings who leads ahead of the Jordan of Tony Warswick and then the Pacific of Jeff Farmer not many of the Formula One cars here this year that clashes with the race in Monaco a lot of the cars involved and the teams involved in Formula 3000 Unfortunately, many of the cars we expected to be here this weekend are just not here, but there's a good battle up the front between the Jordan of Tony Wars. We could take the lead now as they go into the BMW complex, the fastest part of the circuit. He's able to go around the inside and just die down the inside and take the lead. Ten second penalty for a second place man, Ron Cummings, but on the road he is on second place. Third place, that is a Pacific of uh, Jeff Farmer. He started on the third row of the grid as the first of the Formula EFTA cars comes towards us now. That is Gavin Smith behind him. That is the 1500cc turbo powered car of Colin Stone. And then it is the battle further down between Morgan Dempsey Jr. and also between Vivian Daly in car number two. But this, a battle between the bigger and the smaller cars. The two litre car there you can see in front is Gavin Smith, the 1500cc but turbo powered ram of Colin Stone is just behind him and an excellent piece of driving here from the local driver Gavin Smith is able to hold off the more powerful car but of course he has more knowledge of the track he's driven around here many time in fact he has won the Formula Fiat Uno series in the past but it will be only a matter of time before the more powerful 1500cc car of Colin Stone is able to get around the two litre Formula EFTA car driven by Gavin Smith in fact as you can see coming down the main straight much more power and is able to get past on the main straight going into Toyota corner Colin Stone leads ahead now of Gavin Smith our leader is still Tony Warswick in the Jordan but the first retiree of the race car number 64 there the Formula 3000 car of Noel McIntyre coming down to air towards the checkered flag it is the Jordan of Tony Warswick that wins here again at Mandela Park nice to see a Jordan winning in second place on the road uh, with a 10 second penalty but still retained second place is Ron Cummings third place the Pacific there car number seven of Jeff Farmer coming home in fourth place it will be the Ram the 1500cc turbo powered Ram of Colin Stone just behind them the first of the Formula Europa cars that is Gavin Smith behind him coming home this is Morgan Dempsey Jr. who actually won the first of what was called the Formula Opel series now the Formula Europas but a winner of the European Boss Formula race here at Mandela Park the Jordan 194 driven by Tony Warswick second place Ron Cummings Jeff Farmer in third Colin Stone in fourth Gavin Smith and Morgan Dempsey Jr. make up the top six